Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with the CEO of Hemlane. How you doing, Dana? I'm great. Thanks for having me again. Awesome. And uh, what I want to talk about today is something I don't think we've covered in the last year and a half or so that we've been together every other week. And that is how Hemlane can help a landlord manage Section 8 tenants. There's been you know some talk about cash tenants, but let's step back and look if, if you're using housing assistance or the housing authority Section 8, how could Hemlane help a you know mom and pop landlord manage the Section 8 tenant and Section 8 process? Because there's a bunch of checks and balances involved. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I'll start with just education stuff. If you are not on Hemlane today, we have, you can type in Section 8 Hemlane, H-E-M-L-A-N-E, and you can get some great articles about educating yourself on Section 8, also about fair housing. There are certain areas where, like, for example, where Michael and I are, where in the state of California, you cannot say no Section 8 in your advertisement. And so there's a lot of just great materials. It's articles, it's downloads of inspection checklists, all these certain things just for you to get educated on what is Section 8 and should I, as a landlord, think of it as um, a, a, um, a solution for my rental property, keeping in mind you still want the tenants to be qualified. So that's step one. Then step two is um, when you are using Hemlane, going through that process of Section 8. So now that you're educated on it, um, going through the process. One of the really cool things about Hemlane, which um, these other landlord softwares are a little bit farther behind because um, they don't have that flexibility that we have. In our, in our case, you can basically add a tenant and then add Section 8 as a, as a secondary tenant where you're tracking that rent separately from the rent of the tenant. And so you can put it as Section 8 payments. You can get that tracked in the system as paid. I have never, ever seen a case where Section 8 payments have not come through. They always come through to the landlord I've seen on time. Um, I've seen other government um, programs that were kind of through like a COVID and stuff where they were delayed because they didn't have the process set up well, but Section 8 is good for their money. I would love to talk to any landlord who never got it, who didn't get it on time, but typically it is. And so our system will, can mark that as paid right on time. You get the money directly into your bank account and then you can track the tenant's rent separately. On top of that, I think it, when you are accepting Section 8, um, sometimes I see um, folks who've never done Section 8 before who say, I'm going to take this Section 8 tenant and not put them through my application process because I know at least, you know, however, whatever percentage um, Section 8 is paying is good. At least I get that portion of the rent. No, no, no. You should still take them through the step-by-step -step process within Hemlane to understand what you're getting into. Who is this applicant? How many people are really going to be living in the property? Um, running their credit report, understanding hey, do they have no credit because they've paid everything with cash? Okay, maybe that's okay. Um, do they have bad credit? Why do they have bad credit? Is it because they have medical bills or do they have a shopping addiction at Nordstrom? Whatever it may be, you really want to know what you're getting into. And it's that know your customer, KYC. It's know your tenant, know, um, KYT. So know who your tenant is prior to moving in. But both in the tenant placement process, so finding the tenant, as well as in the process of, um, um, of managing the tenant, you'll be able to have that flexibility. We make it super easy in the system to edit rent amounts. Every single year, there will be a change in how much Section 8 is paying versus the tenant because Section 8 pays, um, the tenant only pays 30% of their income for rent and then Section 8 covers the rest. As you know, people's income situations change so that amount will vary every single year during that true up. In our system, you can change that, edit it at any time. Um, so yes. Yeah, when I when I think about Section Eight, I think it gets a, you know, most of the time gets a bad rap uh, for lots of different reasons. One, uh, some landlords, to your point, here Section Eight, they don't run the pro, they don't run the process. That's a huge mistake. And yeah. if you ever do that as a landlord, you're going to get what you get, and you deserve it. Uh, so everybody goes through the same process. I also wanted, there's a general feeling out there from folks that Section 8 is low income. It's fixed income, mm -hmm. right? So I have several Section 8 folks who are on pensions or other 
disability things. Um, it's, it's fixed income. Uh, and again, it's a wonderful program. Every unit I have has always been available for Section 8. Uh, it's just something that's been important to us, given how I was, how I grew up in, in housing and secure. So, um, you know, that's that's a big deal. I'm a fan. You do have problems, right? I have, I think I have five horror stories uh, over the, the 20 years. Two, three were cash, two were Section 8. So it, it happens both ways. Um, but the big thing about Section 8 programs is not only kind of the rent collection in, in credit check, but also, I love the audit trail that Himlaid will offer because, again, uh, sometimes you have, um, you know, tenants that could file claims against the landlord, and uh, you can actually document, hey, you know, th th they did this or that, and we we never heard about it, right? Or hey, we've already fixed it three times; they keep breaking it, or whatever, right? So, I love the audit trail there. And lastly, we'll talk about yearly inspections. As a, a mom and pop landlord who is out of area or out of state. I love Section 8 for their yearly inspections. Yeah. Yes, they're expensive. Yes, they can be a hassle. But I use them to not only check the tenant, I use them to check my landlord. Or I'm sorry, my the property manager. manager. Yeah. yeah, my manager. Uh, and believe me, you know, most of the times I get the report, I'm like, well, you know, yeah, okay, there's some things we have to fix. The tenant's got to step up. But also on occasion, I found reasons to be upset with the property manager, like, uh, why didn't you go fix that uh, bathroom leak, right? Small yeah. leaks become big leaks. They don't fix themselves, right? Go, you know, go, go do your freaking job. I pay you X percent every month, do your job. So I love the, the extra process of section eight. Not everybody does, but, but I certainly love it. But the audit trail of Hemlane would be very helpful, I think. Yeah, and those inspections go directly into Hemlane. So anything that is needs fixing from Section 8 um, inspector, will just go into Hemlane. And then um, we actually have a program that can help fix all of those um, checklist items that they have. But I agree with you, a landlord who doesn't want to fix those things, you're also going to, over time, if you think long-term, not get as quality tenants because- yeah. A, a, you know, it's kind of the broken um, window, um, you know, mentality and philosophy where, you know, if a tenant comes in and sees there's a lot that needs to be done, they're less likely to keep the place in good condition. If they see you're doing your part, um, and this is stuff that they haven't caused damage on, it's, you know, been over time um, and, and not tenant, um, tenant damage then they're going to do their part as well. And so just making sure that you treat your asset like an investment that's going to go up and appreciate over time and you make sure to take care of it, I think is so important both for you, but as well as the quality of your tenants and the expectations you set for them. You know, yeah. if you have a messy house, someone's going to come in and, and throw mess as well, but they see it clean, they'll, they're more likely to take care of it. Not in all situations, but it's more likely to happen. Yeah, and again, uh, Hemlane provides a 30-day trial. Uh, where can people find that? You can go to hemlane.com, um, and we offer property management and um, tenant placement services. So if you have a vacant rental unit and you're looking to advertise your rental property, um, we do it over to over 30 rental listing websites and then go through the whole process of placing the tenant as well as managing them. Awesome. And do yourself a favor, if you're in my course, to so follow my channel. Uh, check out the amazing 30-day PDF or video series Dana has created for you to, to practice being a landlord. Also, you can put in Section 8 tenants and, and watch the different amounts to really get what's going on, track your repair requests, uh, late rents, all of that stuff. It, you know, Being a landlord is a process, but because it's a process, you can practice and you can get better. Hemlane.com, 30-day trial. Thanks, Dana. Great. Thanks for having me.